All right, guys. So hopefully you've now joined us. Some of you may have gotten through the basic section. Others of you may have just skipped to this part. Either way, welcome. Uh, we're going to run through quickly how to view data in a way that's useful. And then we'll move through the section into how to manipulate data, conditional formatting, sorting rows of data, applying filters, naming ranges, doing filter views, and we'll end it with a quiz. So let's jump in. So the first thing I want to cover in this lecture is the views. So there's something that's really, really useful called freezing rows and freezing columns. And so what this does is if you hit view and then freeze rows, this allows you to freeze any number of rows that you want so that when you're scrolling down, if you have a lot of data, like in this spreadsheet, you can always see since we froze row one, you know, even though we're on row 453, we can still see the column names uh, for each of these cells of data, for each of these rows. So this can be really, really useful. You can do the same thing with columns. So let's say we wanted to see, um, let's say we wanted to see the athlete and how many total medals they won. Like if we couldn't see this column, if this one was a little bigger like that, then we could scroll and we could see, oh, okay, Michael Phelps has nine total medals and then in the 2008 Olympics and then come back. So this freezing tool allows you to view data in the most convenient way possible. So if you're dealing with a lot of data, I highly recommend checking out um, and playing with these different freezing tools. So that's, uh, that's it for this one. Next one, we're going to move into conditional formatting.